Oh, build the wall first, then the tower. Oh, so I have to have the... Well, let's go back in. Let's see if I can build the tower on top of it. Or do the, uh, do the walls have to be built first? So, you can buy 1 PP from the vendor on the left for 80 gold. Alright, uh, watchtower. Nope, doesn't look like I can get it built, so we have to wait until this is done. Alright, well, that's fine. That's cool, so I don't actually have to walk around this town to manage it. I was a little worried about that. Alright, so that's my first town. I'd like to get some more towns. I mean, if we have effectively infinite BP, I should probably do it. Tower can only be built in the slot where you built your mill. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, well. I'll replace that next time. Once we have some more space, we probably don't have to worry about defenses that much yet. I hope. Okay, is there anything else I should do, or should I go out adventuring? Because I can buy some more BP, but since we don't have anything to spend it on, there's no, no point in doing so. Each new region gives you a new town. Okay. And which, uh, which vendor is it, by the way? Is it, uh, is it Kassil or Keston Gares? Because, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to mess anything up. All right, now go outside. There's more stuff there. Oh, boy. Now, yeah, we're just going to leave that stuff. I think... So we still have a couple of things, like the Mites Relic. Relic collectors will pay stuff for that. Eh. I don't know about the Stag Lord's Charm. We also have the Nymph's Gift, which I actually just stored away like a silly bun. Okay, so the Scorched Fragments of the Necklace we can just keep storing. I do not know how many of those I have, but I apparently have quite a lot of them. Okay, so you want to work on getting stats 20, 40, etc. So you can level up your visors, making them better at dealing with situations. Capital is three or four zones, main area, tavern, throne, and bedroom. Okay. Oh, boy. A blind man might want the relics. He didn't want them earlier. I think we have to keep collecting pieces. Oh, the first one you were introduced when the guy gave you the tour? Okay, so that's the guy that sells BP. Good to know. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm going to want to go nuts on um, maxing out every town if I can. And since BP is so cheap, I, I pretty much, early on especially, I can just fill everything out and then come back and redo stuff. I was worried that it would be one of those where I'd be punished oh, for overbuilding. Seriously, that is... As a uh, bit of a risque statue to just have sitting on. We have a statue to me, and I don't mind if I'm like in a sultry pose with those curves. But uh. okay, so we have into the house, into the house, throne room, area exit. So what are these? Are these just houses? I guess we'll go in. So seven pieces of the scorched ne necklace, all able to be found in the first act. Well, hello. Prodigal Sons. Wait, what? Why are there 24 copies of Prodigal Sons here? Oh, mine. Bye. Yeah, so these things are based uh, on your alignment. Okay, so we can talk to Hasuf. You see a dark-skinned man, a uh, wifey man, with a weather-beaten face and a happy smile on his face. He's dress dressed luxuriously, and his ha dark hair and neat mustache are exquisitely coiffured. The man bows to you, spreading his arms a little. Hasuf al -Abs uh, from Absalom is happy to welcome you, Your Grace. Come, take a look at the best wares we traveling merchants have to offer, please. Come, take a look. What is the secret to your success, Hasuf? There is no secret. 
perseverance, strength of character, attention to detail, and gift of persuasion charm. All of this, among many other things, are key to success in my profession. But if I did have a secret, who would I be to share it with anyone? The merchant laughs merrily, his hands rubbing his eyes, sides. Why did you leave Absalom, the center of global trade, for some young barony in the Stolen Lands? Ha 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 This is a long story. I don't think your grace would be interested. Come, come. Uh, tell me why you left, left Absalom. I insist. The merchant groans theatrically. Very well, as you wish, your grace. It was about a woman. When I was still young, I fell in love with the daughter of a judge, an important person in Absalom. For many years, I tried to win her heart. But she was cold as stone. I should have given up, but this was not in my character. In the end, I did manage to win her love, but I was unready for it. Asuf swallows and rubs his head, the back of his head. As Abadar is my witness, the flames of hell burn inside this woman. I could not live with her for, six, for even six months. Tenderness and passion one day, screaming and scandal the next. Sometimes she would break into my office during business meetings to make a jealous scene. And sometimes she pulled my collar from the finest... Me by my collar from the finest taverns in town. I couldn't sleep. I was nervous all the time. And it started to affect my business. I realized there was nothing else to do but run. Leaving her and remaining in the city would be impossible. Even in such a city as Absalom. I decided never to return. And I still fear that wildcat of a woman will follow my trail. Asuf stops talking and stares into space without blinking. Although sometimes, after a couple of jars of wine, I still remember her. But perhaps it was I who unleashed the tornado in her. If somehow I behaved differently. Well, let's see what you have. So what is Wander's alignment? Chaotic neutral. Uh, though, I mean, that's kind of... I don't know. Ooh, flaming bastard sword. I mean, it's good, and it's probably not worth its stratagem. Oh, it's an agile rapier. Nothing more. Flame guard. Okay, so it's a tower shield. Resistance on uh, savings throws and fire resistance 10. Ooh, that's pretty good. I might actually pick that one up. That's pretty freaking good for a tower shield. Okay, what do I have? I have some things worth not much. Ring of luck. Plentiful hunts. Ring of the beast king. Animal Companion, a plus two. No. Dueling. Disarm attempts. Nah. Uh, competence bonus on all trickery skill checks. Perception. Let's see. Increase the amount of damage channeling does to undead. Or heals living creatures by a die six. That's actually kind of helpful. I have 35,000 gold. I probably don't want to spend too much of it. But I'm curious about a couple of these. The tower shield seems worth picking up. The bag of holding is... Never mind, there goes all my money. And we can buy a stupid amount of build points if we so choose. I'll come back for that one. Dinosaur bone. Why does he sell that? I have no idea. Damn, that's a pricey bag of holding, but it's worth it. Alright, well, I'm poor again. Oh, Port of Stubborn Fury. Bonus to Constitution. Instead of becoming fatigued after raging, the wearer takes one point of damage for rat. Hey, never mind. Pass that one on. Let's see. The Tower Shield is also a good grab. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna dip in a little bit. We're gonna get that Tower Shield because I doubt we're gonna find a whole lot of them. And that's a really good Tower Shield. And now we're officially. Uh, Poor enough that I don't want to spend any money on anything for a very long time. But that's okay. Because now she's not going to be wielding a door. Never mind. Oh, good. Good. Oh, that's a cool looking shield. Yeah, that was worth it. That stupid door looked so freaking stupid. Ain't bags of holding always very expensive? Relatively, though it kind of varies on the size. Anyway, we're actually at negative 166.9 pounds. Uh, <laughs> my gnome floats off into the sky. Little known f uh, problem. Hello, Hello. my savior. You asked if we'd meet again, and here I am. So a savory aroma of herbs and flowers is the first thing that lets you know that your longtime acquaintance is here. The nymph looks at you in a strange way, like she's never looked at you before. I see your fate has changed since last we met. 
Now you are the ruler who will determine the destiny of these lands. I am their living heart, the whisper of the wind, the strength of rivers, the luxuriant growth of the meadows. Do you wish to touch this power? I will show you a place where we can finally meet in flesh, you and I. Deep in the woods, there is an old mossy ruins long abandoned, nearly swallowed by the thicket. There is an old tree growing among the stones in the yard, which I remember as a seed. A shadow under its green crown I call my verdant chambers. Visit me there, my lord, and come alone. A nymph's reward awaits you. Wait, I want to ask you something. Forgive me. Nymphs are not made for cities. The noise and vanity of human settlements vex me. I will answer all your questions. But there, in the silence of my asylum... I was happy to help. I'll see you soon in the Verdant Chambers. So long. I will await you there, as the ground waits for spring under the heavy winter's snow. She does seem a little bit suspect, yes. This sounds very strange. I'm not sure I trust it, or her, or anyone. Oh well. So does this, uh, does this town ever get any denser? I'm assuming it changes frequently. Yoink. Oh boy, this is a, uh, yeah, I bet this changes as we, like, build the city up or something like that. What the? Uh, okay, we're just randomly in the map in here. It's locked. I can't pick the locks. Oh no. Oh, do we learn the knock spell in this game? Probably not, unfortunately. That would break things a bit too much. Okay, well, that's pretty much the extent of what I want to do. I would like to talk to the NPCs, but my voice is dying. If I were to talk to them, I I straight up, like, wouldn't be able to speak. So there's 24 copies of Prodigal Sons. I think I'm just going to leave it there for the time being. Uh, I should probably stop soon. It is almost 3 a.m. I am quite tired. Let's see. I mean, it's nice, because now I have, like, this... Jeez, it's gonna be like a... I'm not gonna say a 10-episode backlog for this, but it's definitely, like, close to a week long. I... You guys have no idea how exciting it is to have a long backlog of multiple things. So, Kingdom. Oh, can we just do straight-up Kingdom management from the world map? If that's the case, oh, that'll be nice. Oh... Obviously, the loading screens aren't great, but still. Yep. All right. Yeah, yeah. I've got a whole other southern region to explore. I got a bunch of stuff, which is exciting. We've got the the nymph. Uh, I think the first thing I'm gonna do probably is actually beeline for. Um, okay, as long as you're within a region you control. I think what I'm gonna do first is beeline for. Oh, bald. Oh, bald hill hilltop. We know about that. I'm gonna beeline for. Uh, these. Fruits and berries. Claim this resource. Yes. Okay, so we actually want to go back to Gnometon for a second. Oh, so Gnometon was the, the town I was building up. Okay. So what I want to do is go to the main square. Uh, we got it. We're going to go buy a fair bit of BP. Because if I want to, if I want to claim all these resources, and I do... We're gonna want to get our hand. We're gonna want to actually be able to pay for it. Uh, unfortunately, even on a solid state drive, these load times are ridiculous. I hope they fix that. Cause like, I don't know. <laughs> The older I get, the less I'm I'm willing to wait for long load screens. I tend to mentally check out a little bit. It's a problem. 
Okay. Do we wanna we wanna go let's just dump all of my money into uh into BP. That way I don't have to worry about it. Okay, Hasuf. Let's see what you have. Okay, build points. So we wanna buy I've got I can get about three hundred. I really wish I could just type in the number. This is awkward. What the? Oh, never mind. We can get... I thought it was 300. Does the price go up? Or no, I'm I'm misjudging. Okay. Yeah, I'm wildly misjudging. How much I can afford. I guess I can only get thirty. Yeah, wow, I'm tired. I can't do math right now. Oops. So it is 30. Wow. Okay, these are a little bit pricier. But then, then again, uh, I am sleepy. So I can only get a little bit. Yeah, 30, not 300. It would have been 8. I Like I said, it's, th it's, it's 3 a.m. My basic math skills are some of the first things that go. And I... Well, whatever. It's fine. We're just going to adventure for a little bit. I'll just spend some time. That... I don't regret my decisions to get the uh, the tower shield or the uh, bag of holding, but I guess my uh, bravado about having infinite BP might have been a bit premature. Pretty, pretty, pretty premature. Okay. So we've already got that one. So that provides just a straight up stat bonus. That's nice. How much BP do I have? Actually, I have no idea. I'm also really curious where that last, um, where that last thing, uh, that last piece of the amulet would be. Don't know. Well, do we get the bridge of the river? If push comes to shove, I could always cheat in money. I could. I don't generally want to do that. It doesn't feel very good to just cheat in money in a in a series. And a lot of that just has to do with the fact that people tend to get give me like an insane amount of crap uh, for for cheating. And you know, an amount of it is actually like totally justified. It's not fun watching a YouTube series when the person just gives themselves everything. Okay, so I can actually afford to grab all of these. We're just gonna run around grabbing everything, at least for a little bit. Uh, let's see. If I were to use Cheat Engine, uh, I would not complain. I, I'll probably do that once we get later on. There might be a certain point where I'm just like, okay, we need to rush the end of the story just because the series is going to die otherwise. Uh, I'll be pretty upfront about that when that happens, though. If this is uh, similar to the real adventure path, I'll be swimming in money later on. Yeah, I kind of figured that would be the case. I really gotta watch my backline better. I can't wait until. I'm not even sure if uh these guys actually kind of hurt. Ah, oh, but the guy composite longbows. I'll take it. Um, they might actually have things that are worth things. Nope, they don't. They just got a they just got a lucky shot on 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 Kelgrits. 
Because, yeah, Kelgrit's AC is bad. I might actually get him the armor set up later once we have no idea what I'm using my feats for. Uh, we had an amulet. We've already got him bra We've already got bracers of armor on him. There's an amulet I could give him that gives him a bonus against ranged attacks that I am totally missing? There it is. Oh, but we've already got something else. Amulet of Mighty Fists. I'm not sure why he's wearing that. I must have just given it to myself randomly. Uh, probably for carrying, which makes no sense. Alright. But yeah, I, I'm fairly certain I'm going to be mad wealthy within, you know, a very short period of time again. Especially if you actually spend time adventuring. It's just a matter of like, right now I'm poor. And I don't like it. <laughs> Apparently, Kelgritz is pro- Oh, not Kelgritz. Uh, Harim is, is proselytizing about the whole- Oh, did I buy this? I might not have actually bought that one. Oh, it's not in my claimed lands. How do we know which one's my claimed lands? Okay, so I guess we're leaving that for later. Okay, so we don't want to go to Nettles Crossing. We probably want to camp. Uh, let's manage. Let's move her off of guard to nature. And you'll receive a bunch of rations. Okay. And let's, uh, let's manage. Let's switch away from sweet pancakes. We can't even afford it. We'll just do hearty meal. At least for the time being. Okay, so we actually have enough uh, that we can pretty much hunt every single time as long as we're not in a dungeon, which is good. Look at the big names on the map, and that's how you know where you are. Um, Shrike? I just, I just don't know what's what's within my territory. Yeah, you'll know when you see the kingdom panel. That's that's yeah, the easiest. Wait, oh, we have to enter the crossing to actually cross. Maybe? I don't know if the bridge is fixed, though, or if I have to, like, do something to get the bridge fixed. Well, I guess that's an easy question. Or easy thing we can solve, but yeah. I wish... I, I realize the kingdom panel does not show up in unclaimed lands. That's obvious. It's more like I would love to actually have a border that I could see. Five coins to cross the river. A little bit more than that. Uh, I don't think we can cross this river. Well, this might have been a bit of a waste. We could always just load back. What have we actually done since we even started this? Eh, whatever. Time has yet to actually screw us over too much. Okay, cross it for my capital. Ah! Oh yeah, there's a bridge there. There's also one down by the river vine rise. Oh, trail in the hills. Well, I guess we missed something. All of this wasn't entirely a waste adventure. We learned things. We found a thing that I apparently missed. It'd be nice if you could actually send out, like, scouts or something. The one cheat I would do is actually just reveal all locations on the map so I don't have to spend too long blindly wandering. I've always wanted to do that in a Bethesda game and just be like, I know where everything is already. That's the only thing. I'm just going to wander forever. Live up to my name.
What is that? A mature leopard. Owie. Wander doesn't want to wander. I I like to wander when I have a direction. This thing actually kind of hurts. Okay. Well, what do we got? Bone Shaker! Okay, that does some damage. That's a yeah, short poke plus one, not bad. Still no amulet piece though. I don't know where the uh, the last piece is. We might not even find it. Because yeah, seven all fi all findable within Act One, and I'm assuming I'm on Act Two at this point. It never it doesn't really like say anywhere. Oh, that's okay. Act One. And the party gets real slow when it starts raining. And it'll, it feels like it's always raining around. Oh, there it is. There's the last Scorched Fragment of the Necklace. Well, do we go back home, turn it in, and actually see what this is? And Bone Shaker's a good damage spell. Yep. I like it just because it's horrifying. <laughs> your, your skeleton vibrates inside your body and it hurts. That is, that is probably one of the most metal spells I've heard. Anyway, th I think that's all of the necklace bits. I hope? I mean, we can, we can hold off on, uh, on turning that in for a bit. Because the loading times in and out of... Just going to my my kingdom kind of suck. And I I don't know, I hate that situation. Wait for bone shatter. Oh boy. That that sounds satisfying. Let goblins! Hello, goblins! Where's the other one? No idea. Oh, there he is. Goblin Alchemist. Hello, Goblin 2B Corpse. And they have nothing on them. You really think they just kind of leave you alone after a certain point? Let's see, does this game have a spell defending bone? No. That's all on you. Ah. Ah. I just want to go to somewhere new. See one thing new. We've been we've been mired in, in cutscenes and, and stuff forever. I wanna just see one new interesting area to explore for a bit. I guess the bridge over Gerbin River seems like a reasonable idea. It's just kind of Fill these things out. Oh. Nope, let's go back. Go down, they're fatigued, so that's fine. This I can claim. Yeah, because I do want to fill in the map. It actually looks like there's another... There might be some more stuff I can check out, too. Okay, empower your party with spells? Yeah, we already know that one. I was like, is this a useful tip or not? And I guess I just say things. Okay. Well. Come, bridge. Be interesting. Hello. Well, it's got rocks. Melted shard of a ring. Alright, that actually was... That, that was worth it. Just baseline. Bear! Now, is this a regular bear? Because if I remember right, 
regular bears in D&D are actually shockingly boring. I want to check her... Ooh, AC 29. That is scary. That was a mostly regular bear. What is the DC on that? 19. I might, I might see if I can invest in getting her the ring that gives her the plus four nature check. That's a lot of wolves. Okay. Kareem. This is probably a good time for a bless. I'm not too worried about the wolves here. What else do we have? Kelgrits. Uh. I mean, we could try Fire Arc. It's probably only, only going to hit one guy. Maybe two? Ah, hit two. Burning Arc. Doesn't do half bad damage. Now these wolves... Eh. So, the, the difficulty has turned down their two hit by about two. That's not so bad. Okay, we get some wolf skins. And now it's raining real freaking hard, so... Nothing for it. Eh, well, something for it. Yeah, so... That should have hit... Uh... Amiri. That absolutely should have hit Amiri. Done a boatload of damage to her. So it looks like, um... It looks like by combing over the entire area, you can potentially find... All the ring pieces, even in this one zone? I actually kind of wish that the, uh, all of the amulet pieces were just in that singular location. Weather isn't your friend here. No, apparently not. It reflects outside. It's been, uh, it's been storming pretty much for the past week. Eh, it's sort of, it's like off and on. It's been raining every night. Uh, but that means the temperature's been plummeting out here. Which is great. I hate, I hate going outside when it's above 70 degrees. Like 70, 75 I can work with. Once it started getting into the 80s, like, I'm gonna have problems. And then after, once you hit the 90s or even the 100 degrees, no, I'm staying inside. I'm gonna use my AC and I'm gonna be very happy about it. I don't like hot weather. I've never liked hot weather. It's never, it's never been comfortable for me. And so it's nice to, uh... It's nice to finally, like, be hitting fall and actually What's not... There, not hating life. Uh, Tatzel Worm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna apart. go at it. Blood for Gorum! Why are all of my ranged people up? I have no idea. Anyway, it seems to me like we actually have quite the small horde of these things. Okay. Maybe rethinking this. What do we have? We have heroism, we have bark skin. Honestly, I guess what we could do is just Do we do rage? Unfortunately that gives fatigue after the fact. Let's let's just do ins inspire competence for now. Or... No, that's skill checks. She's still she's still playing song. We gotta we gotta stop that. What's that? Is that trapped? Interesting, whatever it is. Yep, was trapped. And that's half plate plus two. Cool. I don't think I'm actually going to use that compared to full plate plus one. I think I think the full plate works works better. I could be wrong, but yeah, now now the uh, enlarged person lasts for the appropriate amount of time. 
a while, actually. I like that. Pretty much will generally last for most, like, dungeons or areas, as long as I don't spend too much time. Because, yeah, that's, that's real time. Hot weather is the worst. I wish I could afford to move out of uh, Texas. Ooh. Yeah, somebody earlier today was suggesting moving to Texas, considering how cheap the property values are. And, like, I'm not necessarily against the idea of something like that for the property values, but yeah, the idea of... Uh, the idea of... Of being... Oh, she lost strength, I didn't realize. Uh, the idea of being in a state that's just constantly warm all the time, just... Mm. I just, I can't do it. Oh, why is Lindsay all the way back there? No idea. The bear! Bear! And a nice part is Bless is gonna last a while too. I think in general in the future. Uh oh. Okay. Become as dust. There we go. Amiri, might as well go for that guy. Does she have the extra reach or is she okay? And Lindsay is in fact within range. Good. Uh oh right, I wanted to check something with Kogurt's the Mad. Yeah, we we are we are getting the minus to hit with the shooting into combat. Okay, so we'll go with precise shot this time. We haven't had a whole lot of trouble hitting yet, but we'll need it. I want to switch out her song if she's just leveled up. She has a bug autocast song. It doesn't replace itself in the bar. Oh, interesting. Okay. Adventures call to them. Now. No, she doesn't actually have... Oh, she does have Cure Moderate Wounds. Let's just go Cure Light. I think most of her her second level spells are way better. Especially Bark Skin. I'm not even sure where she got that necessarily. Because it doesn't look like it's part of her list normally. Oh, Bark Skin's from her armor. That's how she can cast it. Well, that's not so bad. Bought a three-bedroom condo for 125,000 in this city. That tells you how cheap it can be. That's pretty. I mean, that's not so bad. Uh, kind of depending. Okay, and everybody's exhausted. Yeah, let's sleep. We're fighting. We're fighting things here. Harem, why on earth did you tag along with us, huh? Why do you care where you sit, as you wait for your big ending? Oh, sometimes I wonder. But I am where Grotus's whisper has brought me. And this place is no worse than any other. Hunting took 16 hours. Oh, boy. But yeah, I uh I don't know. I'm not I'm not in a position to really think about buying uh for a while. I mean I kind of am. I could I could probably look into buying a a house within the next couple of years. But like YouTube is in inherently just kind of low-key terrifying for me. Uh I think I just sized up the wrong person. Alright. Well, let's do that again. Oh the right person. Everybody gets big now. I mean, it'll last for the rest of the zone, and we'll probably rest at some point. So we might as well just be super. Can't loot any of these? Nothing? Really? Alright. Guess I can loot that. But yeah, I don't know. YouTube YouTube and Twitch is kind of a scary thing to base your life off of. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure, like, within the next couple of years, it actually won't be so bad. Uh, but there's just kind of that low-key panic at all times where I'm just like, yeah, I don't know if my job's going to be here in, like, five years. And so I'm like, you know, always going to be mildly like, 
eh, I'd rather rent a place and not have to worry about it if if suddenly everything goes bottom up and I don't have to worry about stuff. Thanks for the bits, Moose Lord. Hodag and a ferocious hodag. Is a hodag like a hoagie? A sandwich? Probably. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta look at Amiri for a second. Her weapon scales up. <laughs> it does even more damage now. <laughs> 3 die 8 base damage. That is ridiculous. I want to get some more of these. Hopefully we can find a sword to replace her sword. It'll be kind of a darn shame if we can't get another ginormous uh, bastard sword here. Oh, Marine. Actually, let's take a look at... No. And Lindsay was called for... Okay, probably want to buff people up before we do this. Let's do natural armor on her. Okay, Valerie... Or not Valerie, Octavia. Let's let's get a big Harim. I think we have anything else here. He's gonna give himself natural Everywhere armor. Go. He's gonna cast bless. What else do we have? We've got prayer, we've got bull strength. These will last a while. And so I so see no reason why not to. Two, what's three? Prayer, dispel magic, or blindness. Eh. And we also have heroism. Ten minutes per level. Well, that's dang good. What the heroism on her? Okay, let's go into that cave. Save, too, just in case. Okay. Whatever you do, don't go into the cave. It's a boss monster with a difficulty way higher than my per current party recommended. Facing such a monster is 12 to 15. Charge! Oh, that's a big thing. Everyone dies. Lost. <laughs> that was immediate. Alright, loading back. Woo, boy. Yeah, no, I, I knew whatever was in there was not actually worth going after. It's real tempting to send a character that's invin invisible in. Um, and actually, like, try and loot stuff. Uh, you know, kind of pull a full-on um, Bilbo Baggins. But I don't know... I don't know the wisdom in that. Anyway, might have been a bit of a waste of these buffs, but I really like having the supersized party members. And we can pretty much keep that going perpetually, considering how many characters we have with uh, Super Size Me going. Some of these last for like an hour or two. I, like, I can't wait until we get uh, get up to like level 10 or 15 or whatever. I can pretty much just run these run these buffs for as long as we're inside the zone. Sneaking to behind it, there is an awesome top hat. We could try it? I figure I'd come back in one level when I get invisibility. So what is... It's plus to hit. It's actually... Oh wait, no, that's... It's AC was 27 flat-footed. Oh, boy. Yeah, its armor class is normally is 32. I wouldn't have had too much trouble hitting that thing. The main problem would have been, uh... 
I would have had some trouble hitting that thing. The main problem would have, would have just straight up been, it's a giant CR monster. There's no easy way for me to deal with it. 